chest x-ray interpretation, congenital lobar emphysema. This is a chest x-ray of a baby. Patient is slightly rotated as indicated by the clavicle and the distance between the medial end of the clavicles. Heart and lungs are normal. No sign of pneumothorax, consolidation or collapse. Normal pattern of vascular markings visible through both lungs. No sign of hyperinflation of lungs either. Mediastinum is of normal size and shape. This is a normal chest x-ray of a baby. The second x-ray, however, is clearly abnormal. There is a radiolucent shadow arising from left hemithorax projected over midline and extending into the right hemithorax, also causing mediastinal shift to right. The heart is probably somewhere here. Notice left lung is clearly darker than the right lung, but there is no pneumothorax because you can still see the vascular markings through left lung and also in case of pneumothorax you will see collapsed lung with visceral pleura, pleura clearly visible. In this case left lung seems hyperinflated. The x-ray is a very classical picture of a condition in newborn babies known as congenital lobar emphysema. The word congenital means by birth and emphysema refers to hyperinflation of alveoli. In this particular example, left upper lobe is hyperinflated, in fact ballooned. Notice a straight and flat hemidiaphragm and a triangular opacity. This is partially collapsed left lower lobe. The darkness of the left lung is because of air trapping in left upper lobe. Partial collapse of left lower lobe is because of compression which is caused by over distension of left upper lobe. There are signs of compression on right lung as well. The condition can cause severe respiratory distress and is caused by weakness or absent bronchial cartridge. Air goes in with each breath and gets trapped in the affected lobe. This should not be mistaken as tension pneumothorax as insertion of chest tube will produce negative consequence. Doctors often try to decompress the affected side by the insertion of chest tube selectively, selectively into the, uh, the healthy uh, bronchus, into the lung of healthy bronchus and thus creating artificial blockage to the affected lung. But often surgical resection is the only option available. Left upper lobe is usually most affected but right upper lobe or right middle lobe can also be affected. In a small number of patients two lobes can also be affected. So the next slide shows a normal chest x-ray of a baby and on the right hand side you can see a chest x-ray with congenital lobar emphysema. Left upper lobe is involved. These are the references. Thank you very much.